Hey, this is Adam Post, publisher of College of the Dead, also known as Half Speed Tucci, also publisher of over a thousand comic books over the last uh, couple of decades, to be honest with you. It's been a while. So I just came across this article, Spider-Man back at Marvel if Apple buys Sony. That's the premise of the article, that if Apple were to buy Sony, then Spider-Man could be put back with Marvel, like together. Well, you know, honestly, I don't think so. Uh, but let's see what these guys are talking about, and then I'll tell you exactly why I don't think so. So these guys uh, at Cosmic Book News, uh, written here by Matt McLaughlin, McLaughlin? Huh? seems like a pretty cool name. Uh, Matt's saying a side effect of the streaming content arms race I may mean that Spider-Man will be back at Marvel, and as being said, Apple may be uh, eyeing the purchase of Sony. Interesting. An investor analyst filled in Yahoo Finance that they think a big acquisition is on the horizon for Apple, and it listed the following companies with the mention of Sony. Well, Apple has a tremendous amount of cash, um, excessively huge tremendous amount of cash, so for them to make a 10 or a $15 billion purchase of um, Sony um, really wouldn't be a problem. For them to make a $100 billion purchase of something really wouldn't be a problem. Um, but they usually don't make any purchases quite that big. They do actually purchase a lot of companies. They purchase uh, usually smallish companies, though, like they bought Beats, the headset, uh, the headphones company and whatnot. Uh, that was a billion. So, so for them, it's not major dollars. It's cheaper than developing something from scratch. Uh, obviously, Spider-Man's classic. You can't really develop Spider-Man from uh, from scratch. So an investor analyst that filled in Yahoo, Yahoo Finance is probably the least reliable uh, of all the finance sites. If you ever watch their YouTube, Yahoo Finance, um, it's not very well put together. Let's just put it that way. In any case, um, on his list of acquisitions in order, A24 Studio, Lionsgate, Viacom, uh, Sony, MGM Studios, Netflix. Uh, there's a potential gaming publisher that could be incorporated, meaning you know, video game publisher, game code that could be incorporated to Apple Streamline streaming service or a separate gaming subscription service as a wild card. So... Uh, Apple recently announced that they are doing a streaming service that's $4.99 a month, uh, which is cheaper than all the other streaming services, but they, they also don't have very many shows and much content. Um, they have a huge loyal user base of uh, Apple phones, uh, and they probably will do okay um, selling their streaming service because it's very convenient and people love Apple. Um, but they don't really have a big entertainment library, obviously, because they have not been making entertainment. So what they're talking about here is, well, you know, Apple's no doubt looking at potential acquisitions. Um, just to tell you the quality of <laughs> Yahoo Finance. Um, well, Viacom it, it just merged, remerged with CBS like a couple of weeks ago. The odds that they would be up for sale uh, to Apple right at this second um, are extremely low. Um, Sony has put a lot of money into Sony Pictures over the years, and now it's been doing better for them. And, hey, they've got Spider-Man. They're very unlikely to want to sell themselves uh, to Apple because it's an important part of Sony now. Um, so we'll see. Uh, regarding Spider-Man returning to Apple, Okay, reverse Marvel. If Apple buys Sony, it's been reported that if Sony ever gets sold, the Spider-Man and related characters uh, revert rights revert back to Disney and Marvel. So obviously, well, first of all, that's extremely ridiculous. There's no way. Um, first of all, the value of Sony as a standing, as an independent entity, or um, as its own company rather than being acquired and then having to just give up the rights uh, as if an option was gone for um, Spider-Man and Venom and Carnage and, and anything else related to um, their Marvel licenses. They just lose the Marvel licenses. 
that would be ridiculous. You know, the company would be worth a hell of a lot less. So, so who would buy Sony if it didn't include those characters? Um, so here, Sony Spider-Man could return to MCU if Apple buys Sony. I mean, it's 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 really silly. It's really ridiculous. Apple, okay. So, would Apple buy Sony? Yeah, it's possible that Sony could agree to sell itself to Apple. There's no way that a rights reversion would happen. There's no way a rights reversion. Would. What uh, Sony might do is they might spin off the film properties uh, and the studio separate from uh, the ownership in Japan of Sony and have it be its own entity. And then Apple might own some huge percentage of that company. Um, there's all sorts of things companies can do to protect rights reversions and things like that. Um, Marvel even had some unusual ownership structure a long time ago uh, when uh, Toy Biz was a big uh, owner of Marvel and Marvel owned part of Toy Biz and it was dependent on licensing. But licensing is not going to disappear with an acquisition. If Apple buys Sony, though, uh, Apple is going to be competing directly with Bob Iger. And Bob Iger recently, and as in recently, like just Friday, uh, resigned from the Apple board of directors uh, as the companies are coming into conflict on streaming. So Apple is directly competing with uh, Disney now. And Bob Iger, uh, the CEO of Disney, was on both uh, board of directors. So when companies are competing, um, they can't have uh, executives that they're competing with on each other's board of directors because in board of directors meetings, what we do is, yes, I say we, cause I've been on a board of directors before. Uh, what we do is we discuss strategy and plans and all sorts of secret things that can't be made public. Um, and obviously with companies competing with each other, you can't have that. Uh, and Apple and Disney have had a long relationship. You'll probably remember that uh, Steve jobs was a big stockholder in Disney for a long time because uh, Disney purchased his company Pixar um, and the relationship continued. It was nice for a long time, but now they're in competition. So there's no way that Disney is, um, is getting the rights back to Spider-Man by Sony getting bought by Apple. Okay. So that you don't, you don't have to worry about, but is it interesting? Yeah, it's interesting. I think eventually, and tell me what you think in the comments. I think eventually the Spider-Man will wind up back with the rest of the rights of Marvel. Um, how is that going to happen? I have no idea. Who would ever have thought that they would have wound up the way they are now? Uh, but someone is going to see the value in them all being together. Right now, Disney's kind of going its own weird direction with its development of its characters. And Sony seems to be keeping to more of a classic version of uh, what we understand the characters to be. And, um, you know, I'm hoping that the classic version wins out. All right. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and also like this video, but definitely subscribe if you want to find out some more interesting things going on in uh, comics and science fiction and pop culture and um, other comic book projects. And I have a comic book project um, that launched recently called College of the Dead. And you'll see a video about that uh, in just a minute. Hey, how you doing? College of the Dead is my 140-page zombie apocalypse comic book. It's black and white. It's completely done. The first printing ships October 31st, 2019. Make sure you get a chance to get a copy of this. It's on Indiegogo. It was successfully fully funded. All the money was raised for it. Uh, it's going to be shipping in October, and uh, that will be the first printing. Uh, we'll have a few copies of that beyond what people pre-ordered, but not a heck of a lot. So go ahead and make sure you get a copy of this. And uh, you can see the link in the description below. You can also go to collegeofthedead.com. It will take you to where it's currently available. And I'll tell you what, this is a phenomenal comic book. You can see the uh, cover of book two right here. We're working on that right now to finish it for January 2020. And these are the interiors of College of the Dead book one. All done by the same artist, Javier Aranda. He's a phenomenal artist. And go ahead and check this out. I know you're going to love this comic book.